Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome to Diluvian Winds, a game where we play as a walrus who is also a lighthouse keeper. And if that doesn't make you immediately want to go and play this game, then I don't know what will. A walrus managing a lighthouse. You can see both the walrus and the lighthouse on the screen there. It sounds all sorts of wonderful. We also have to look after a little building at the foot of the lighthouse, which is kind of like a tavern type place, I suppose, where we welcome weary travellers who've arrived because they're following the light of the lighthouse. However, it's not all plain sailing because we have to deal with the weather, which can be quite destructive. We have to cook for our guests. And of course, we have to keep the lighthouse fire burning. That's very important as well. So we're a very, very busy walrus. It also looks really, really gorgeous. As you can see from the menu screen here, it's got this kind of wonderful cartoon art style to it. It's really, really pretty to look at. It does look very lovely indeed. Now, this is the demo version of the game, or as you can see on the screen there, the prologue version, which as we all know is just a fancy pants way of saying demo, isn't it? And it's part of the Steam Next Fest event thingamajig, which is happening right now as this video goes out. And as always, there is a link to the Steam Store page in the video description below, so you can check it out and wishlist it and have a go at the demo yourself if you'd like to. But anyway, let's get on with it, shall we? A walrus and a lighthouse await. Day one, a new day begins. Okay, right, let's go and begin our life as a walrus lighthouse keeper. And there we are, and we look absolutely magnificent. Look at us. Oh, we look very good. We've got a lovely hat on and a matching scarf. That's very good. Got a little pipe just there. We have a very good walrusy moustache. I like that. And we are wearing a very fancy jacket. That is very fancy pants indeed. So not only are we a walrus lighthouse keeper, we're a very dapper walrus lighthouse keeper as well. I do like that. That's very good. Okay, so what are we saying? My lighthouse is a mess. This unhinged weather and the constant catastrophes keep destroying whatever we manage to build. What a life. In any case, there's nothing else for it. We must rebuild. Gah, I'm too old for this. Okie doke. So there is, I think that's our little kind of B&B &B guest house type thing over there. So that side is where the guests stay and that is the lighthouse side and an adorable squirrel has arrived. Hello, Elmer the squirrel. I'll wait for the next caravan. Let me know if I can help in the meantime. Okay, so then we say, please do not go far. The lighthouse tower is a safe place and there is so much to do to ensure our survival. Okie doke. So now do we go and gather resources? I mean, that does look a little bit broken there. That certainly looks a little bit sort of, you know, folly a party right there. So we could do with repairing that by the look of it. Um, okay, what are we supposed to do? Wander about the place? Do we click on you? A thing has appeared in the corner and it is flashing on and off. I kind of feel like the game wants us to press this, although I'm not entirely sure what it is. There's a kind of a red dial thing pointing down there. So dawn is the caravan phase. Traveller arrival and departure. So what's that? Morning is the task phase task assignments for the day. Oh, so the day is broken up into different kind of chunks, into different phases. So dawn is the caravan phase when travellers arrive or depart. Okay, so that's where we are now. And then the morning is the task phase. So we task people to do various things, I suppose. And then we have the afternoon is the work phase, where the travellers work according to their tasks. So that's where the tasks get completed. Then in dusk, we have the meal phase, where we share a meal with the travellers. Oh, that sounds quite nice. I like the sound of that. So they do a bit of work for us in the day and then we feed them in the evening. Oh, I quite like that. That's good. And then at night time, we do the lighthouse phase. We feed the lighthouse fire. Very important indeed. Okay, yeah, so the day is broken up into sort of five different chunks where we do a different variety of jobs. Okay, so right now, I think we have one person. So I assume our squirrel friend here is a traveller and they've arrived here so we can get them to do something. So if we press that, I'm guessing it moves to the next phase. That was wonderful. Okay, so it's moved to the next bit of the day. So then we're saying we should start by clearing out the debris. We'll need to recycle this wood. I can take care of it. Just let me know where to go, says Elmer the adorable squirrel. Okay, ah, right, here we go. Resources have appeared. So we've got vegetables, we've got fish, We've got insects, we've got wood, we've got metal, we've got textile, and we've got oil. Although right now, we only have 30 veg and 40 wood, and we have nothing of anything else. Okay, so what do we do with you, Elmer? Okay, big exclamation mark down there. I think we're being handheld a little bit over here. Um, okay, so we can clear something away. So we're going to clear that. Okay, that's completely broken, is it? Oh, look at that. That's the kind of build area. 
So we get to build in this space here. So there's the lighthouse over there. We don't kind of add to that. We build this little kind of wooden sort of, I don't know, shack tower type thing over here. Oh, I like that. Okay, so we get to build different things and slot it into this kind of grid just here. There's a person down there. There's a person in this little kind of sort of tent area. Do you want to come and join us? Would you like to come and help? That'd be marvellous. Um, okay, so here we go. So we've got Elmer. So Elmer's got buildings. So Elmer can, what, presumably work in a greenhouse or in a woodcutter cabin or in a pantry. Is that what that means? Uh, they're satisfied. Because they're satisfied, they make, they sort of produce more resources. That's quite handy. Um, a squirrel. Cultivating vegetables is a natural skill for squirrels. Okay, so they're good at growing veg, but they're not so good at fishing. That makes sense. They're a land-based uh, land creature. Uh, they want to build a woodcutter cabin. And if they do that, they get two victory points. Okay, that sounds quite good. And they're an optimist. They can always work no matter their morale. So even if Elmer's feeling a bit down in the dumps, they will still go and do some work. Okay, okay, that's good. So if we press that and press that, we're going to clear out that sort of broken bit of base there and get ourselves 10 more wood. Okay, so you go and do that then. Ah, right, here we go. Is that other person coming up to speak to us? So Elmer's gone into there and you're hitting that with a hammer. I'll remove the debris. I should be done by this afternoon. Every activity is exhausting and lowers my morale. If it ever reaches zero, I will have to rest and won't be able to help anymore. And Elmer has a little bit of a sad face. Don't you worry, Elmer. We'll make sure you're okay. Right now, another person has appeared. Hello. Uh, so this is Evelyn. I see there is a greenhouse still standing. If you assign me to it, I'll forage for food there. Uh, okay, do we have a greenhouse? A uh, good idea. Producing resources is survival 101. It does help. Yes. Where's the um? Where's the greenhouse? Um, okay, so Evelyn, Evelyn can. Ah, oh, there you go. Evelyn can work in the greenhouse. You can work in a woodcutter cabin, and you can work in a pantry. Okay, that's similar. Maybe that's what the squirrels can do. Um, you're satisfied. You're a squirrel. You would like to work with one traveller. So you want to observe somebody working. And if you do that, we get ourselves a victory point. And you're also optimistic. Okay, we've got two optimists with us. That's wonderful. Okay, so we'll get you to work. Um, oh, it's up there. Oh, that's the greenhouse there. I was looking for a little kind of, you know, glass structure down on the ground. But no, there's our greenhouse. So... That grows 15 fruit, brackets, vegetables. Okay, so 15 greens, 15 healthy things. Um, so we're going to get 22 food out of that because it's a squirrel doing it. So there's a base of 15. The squirrel means it goes up to 20. And because Evelyn is satisfied with life and everything, then, um, yeah, she generates another plus two. Oh, that's quite good. Yeah, so you go and work in there then, please. Up the ladder you go. I'll probably be done by the end of the morning. The production of resources is dependent on many factors. Morale, traveller species, weather. It is your responsibility as the keeper to make sure that tasks get assigned efficiently. It is your home after all. Okie dokie. We'll give that a go. It seems everyone is busy. Time to move on to the next phase of the day. Oh, so we don't do anything. We kind of just, yeah, we supervise. Oh no, hang on. Here we go. Do we run around the place? That's camera controls. So we can, yeah, we can move about and zoom in and out. I think we kind of just, you know, we're sort of management here, if you like. They're doing the jobs and we're supervising. And then we look after the lighthouse. However, we can now have a look at the lighthouse. Oh, look, it's so pretty. It's so lovely to look at. So we have a dock going out over there with lots of bits and bobs. They could, yeah, flotsam and jetsam kind of uh, bobbing past there. Um, we've got this kind of little sort of, I don't know what that is, like a little sort of crane type thing, I imagine, to lift stuff off the dock. Uh, we've got some sort of kind of like a storeroom just there. We've got a kitchen area here and a little dining table there. That looks very good. We've got our little sort of, what's that? That's like a sort of a, a front room, like a cosy sitting room type thing. Oh, look, there's a mug. There's a mug. Okay, right. We drink tea. Obviously, we drink tea. We're a, we're a tea drinking uh, lighthouse keeper. Um, okay, that's good. And then we have our bedroom there. And then we have, what's that? Another storage room there. And then, of course, we have the lighthouse fire at the top. Okay, that looks very nice. And then we can look over here as well, look. So now somebody's in there, we can see inside that room. And um, yeah, it's full of you know, vegetables and you know, healthy looking things with vitamins in. So they're doing a bit of work there and you're clearing that out. Okay, so oh, hang on, there's a thing there as well. 
So cloudy means that the fire is going to go out a bit and morale is going to come down because it is a bit cloudy, as we can see. There's quite a lot of cloud around the place. Um, it's also foggy. So it's cloudy and foggy, is it? So fire comes down by one point and morale comes down by two. And it's windy. So fire comes down by two and insect production goes up by five. Uh, that can't... Hang on, I'm confused. It can't be cloudy and foggy and windy. If it was windy, it would, uh, it would blow the blow the fog away. I don't see how it can be all three. Unless, unless that's moving toward our day counter just here. So maybe right now it's cloudy and then tomorrow... Foggy will move down to here, Windy will come down, and we'll get another effect appearing at the top. Maybe that's what that's showing us, possibly. I'm not sure, but okay, let's go to the next bit of the day. So now they're going to do some work. Oh, oh, right. Okay, exciting things have happened, and now it's gone to the evening. So they've done their thing, and we're all going to gather around this gigantic cooking pot type thing. After work, it's time to rest. There's nothing better than a good binge to improve everybody's morale. <laughs> I didn't know you had Netflix. Oh, you mean a food binge, not a serious binge. Uh, the fuller the pot, the better we'll feel afterwards. Keep an eye on food reserves, however. It is always better to have some extra food saved up. A varied meal will give us different bonuses. Remember to mix up your ingredients and quantities. Um, the flood is better with the, with big folks like you around. Your generos uh, generosity deserves a feast. Okay. So what do we do here? You may fill the pot with the various edible resources you have in storage. Okay, so it looks like, yeah, vegetables, fish, and, um, yeah, like bugs or whatever. Travel and movement will be affected by the amount of resources in the... Uh, not movement, morale, sorry. Travel and morale will be affected by the amount of resources in the meal. The recipe and its effects will change depending on the ingredients you use. Okay, so we have to kind of try to craft a meal. I mean, we've only got vegetables right now, so it's going to be a plate of vegetables. Um, okay, so a frugal meal, a copious meal, or a feast. I mean, let's start with a feast, shall we? This is yeah, the first time we've done this. Let's begin with a feast. It looks like, yeah, it's going to turn into whatever that is. It's just going to be a bowl of veg, isn't it? Or like a vegetable soup or something. So confirm that. And it's a green salad. A simple vegetable salad. Okay, that sounds a little bit boring, but okie dokie. Uh, ah, but that does mean because they've eaten that, wood production is going to go up by five. Okay, that could be quite handy. So if we go and gather some wood from somewhere, then they're going to be a little bit better at that. Okay, that's fine. So I think that's that done, isn't it? That's that particular phase done. So we're now, what are we doing? We're going, ah, we're getting ready to go to the, the lighthouse bit. Yeah, okay, so if we move time on... We then go up to the lighthouse phase, and there we go. Right, so we're up on the lighthouse phase. The fire is as strong as can be. Uh, the fire is key to our survival. If I let it go out, travellers will not see the lighthouse, and I will become isolated from the rest of the world. Each day the weather will have varying degrees of impact on the flame. We can maintain the fire by giving it sources of fuel. However, the items used for fuel are also materials required to build and reinforce the village. Okie dokie. The future probably holds some difficult choices for us. For now, however, we have enough wood to keep the fire going as strong as it can. Okay, so a similar thing for the fire to the food by the look of it. So we can put wood, that was like cloth, wasn't it? And that was oil. So we can put those things into the fire to keep it burning. The weather lowers the fire strength. If the fire goes out, you lose. Crikey's okay. The stronger the fire, the faster the next exiles will find the lighthouse. Okay, so we want to have a very bright fire burning so more people turn up, so we can get more people to do more jobs around the place, so we can get more resources, so we can do more stuff. Okay, right, I get that. So at the moment, yeah, what are we looking at? Yeah, so the fire's gone down by one point. So if we pop a piece of wood in, or ten pieces of wood then, it goes back up and it's burning as much as it can do. But it's still quite strong there. I mean, why don't we top it up? Let's make sure it's, you know, so nice and nice and bright. And then we can see that, yeah, people are on their way. They're about halfway here then by the look of it. Yeah, okay. So we'll do that. And um, it won't go out anytime soon. Travellers will see it from far away. Okay, that sounds good. So now what do we do? Are we all done? Do we all go to bed now? I'm not entirely sure what happens. Hang on, we need to check that weather thing as well. So hang on. So they're not in there. Hang on, are they in... They might be in there. They might be in bed, I think. I thought they might have gone to bed. Um, we'll leave them to it, I think. Okay, so if we press that, so is cloudy going to go away and it's going to become foggy? Is that what's going to happen? 
Okay, so day two, a new day begins. All right, okay, so what happens now then? So we pop up to the top, we have a little look with a kind of a very exciting kind of telescopy thing. Okay, so they're the new people that are on their way in this exciting looking kind of barrel wagon type thing. Okay, and we have two people here right now. Um, yeah, okay, fine. So what do we do now? Um, our next travellers are still a few days away, so no arrivals today. Let's tackle morning tasks. Okay, so no one's going to arrive today, so we're going to have Elmer and Evelyn around for another day. That's fine. So nothing's going to happen in the dawn phase, and we move to the next phase, do we? So I imagine we have to give them more jobs to do. Okay, so we're now down here. Is that the official job giving out shop or whatever? Okay, um, Elmer says, if I may make a suggestion, you do not have means of wood production. I can take care of that if you'd like. Good idea. We have the ability to build a woodcutter's cabin. Okay, that sounds quite good. Do we have enough wood to build a woodcutter's cabin? Uh, we travellers are looking for places to take refuge in during our journey. We come with requests. If you fulfil them, they can only benefit the lighthouse and those that come to it. Let's build a woodcutter's cabin. You did want that, didn't you? That was one of your things over here. Yeah, there's your request to build one of those. And if we do that, we get two victory points, which sounds exciting. Ah, we now have a little kind of blueprint thing down here. Right, okay. So build. Um, I imagine because we're still in kind of, you know, tutorially ho holding hands mode, we can't build these things. So it has to be the woodcutter's cabin because that's what the game wants us to do. But okay, so let's build the woodcutter's cabin. Um, I mean, we can put it anywhere. We can put it underneath here. We can link it up just there. We can build it along the end there. I mean, we might as well keep the structure all together. We might as well keep it all together. I mean, why don't we just put it there? That makes sense, wouldn't it? So pop it just there, please. So that can be a woodcutter cabin. Got it. Okay. So Elmer's just run straight up and he's getting on with some building work. That's wonderful. Each traveller has a request and a set time to fulfil it. Click on the icon in the character sheet to see details. Successful requests earn you victory points. When you reach the objective, you win the game. A traveller has fulfilled their request or no longer has any time left to do so will leave the lighthouse with the next exile caravan. Okay, so we want to make sure that we keep people moving in and out. So if we want to make sure that, you know, if we see a caravan coming, we want to make sure that we try and sort out people's requests so that they can leave and we get new people in. Okay, yep, yeah, that's fine. That seems good. So yeah, these people are going to leave at some point then. So they're not permanent. They're going to clear off. We should keep building up our food supply. Very well. I will wait for an assignment. Okay, so you can go back and do some more food, I think. So you could pop into there. Um, yeah, so plus 20 food, please. So you can go and do that. There's nothing like a good meal after a hard day's work. But unfortunately, you're going to have to put up with salads for a while. Sorry about that. I mean, yeah, can we go fishing? Could we go fishing? I think that's it. And... Um, yeah, it's foggy. So there we go. So the weather is kind of moving down. So that's today's weather. Foggy, as you can see, because there is fog. Um, so tomorrow is going to be windy, which is bad for the fire, but good for insect production, which is a bit weird. I don't quite know why they're so bothered about the wind. If it's windy, surely the insects just blow away. And the day after that, there's going to be a violent wind. So the fire is going to suffer, insect production's up, and vegetables are going to suffer as well because, I mean, they're inside. I don't quite know why, but okay, though. No. Right, so skip to the next phase. Let's go to the uh, work phase. Right, so the woodcutter cabin is built. Ah, and there we go. Plus two victory points. Now, does that mean that Elmer's going to leave? Is Elmer going to leave now? Um, it's time for me to go back on the road. I shall be on the next convoy out of here because you've completed your goal. I'll check on you if I'm ever around here again. Elmer, you are very welcome to return, absolutely. Thanks for your help, you're always welcome. Have a nice trip. Okay, and then they have morale. Okay, so red is bad, they've got no strength left, and they're gonna rest. Yellow is, they're a bit tired. Green is, they're sort of okay. That kind of blue is, they're satisfied, which improves their resource production. And the darker blue means they're happy. Okay, and they have a smiley face. Okay, wonderful. So at the moment, we can see that, yeah, if we give them no meal, they're going to go from green, which is middling, so okay, to yellow, which is not very impressed. So if we give them, even giving them a frugal meal means they maintain how So what if we give them lots? A copious meal means they go up one, which increases their resource production, and a feast has no bearing on that at all. So do you know what? Let's give them a copious meal, a copious 
Very unexciting sounding green salad, but there we go. Come on, fill up the pot. What? I don't know. It's a waste of food, isn't it? Oh, is the game making us fill up? Oh, there we go. Okay, game, fine. That would have been the same result had we not spent 10 more food in it, but never mind. There we go. Right, and then I think they're going to clear off. We go to night time. We then go back up here. Right, how is the fire looking? The fire can already be seen from far enough away, and the next convoy will be here tomorrow. It is sometimes smart to save resources. Okay, so we don't need to put any wood onto there because it's still burning quite bright. Yeah, okay, that's fine then. Let's um, let's go to bed. We'll have a little sleep and we'll see what happens tomorrow. So there we go. Okay, so day three, new day begins. So now we're going to say farewell to one of our people, I think. So Elmer's going to go, which will be sad because yeah, Elmer's ready to leave because we completed his sort of goal type thing. Okay. So we're having a look. A convoy just arrived as planned. Travellers looking for a rest, a refuge or a meal. We'll stay here for a few days. Let's welcome them as best we can. Okie dokie. That's going to say hi to the new people then. This is exciting, isn't it? Some new people. So there's Evelyn. So she's going to be hanging around and she's throwing her arms in the air like she just doesn't care. Um, with Alma leaving, we have two available spaces. Who are the new visitors? Oh, so we can only have so many people. Okay, ah, hang on. Yeah, down here, look. It looks like we can have potentially four people here. Okay, so who are we getting in? So, Bianca. Bianca's a bear. Okay, so Bianca the bear. Bears are good at making insects. That could be quite handy. We could have different food types. You're land-based and you're satisfied. You can work in a greenhouse or a terrarium or a garden. I think that's what that means. Or does that mean they can... Yeah, they can work in them or they can build them. I don't know. Um, your request that you need to complete within three days is to have an insect for dinner. Okay, that's good. So we'll have you. Is that what we do? And then we can have another one. Ah, so it's only Charlie. Okay, so what are you, Charlie? You're a beaver. No one handles wood better than beavers. Okay, so they're good at, uh, yeah, wood production. Not so good at working with veg. You're lamb-based. You're satisfied. You can also work in a woodcutter cabin. Um, or housing. You can well, maybe that is what they can build. Maybe that's buildings that they can construct rather than working, because you wouldn't work in housing. And your request, uh, when you complete in five days, is to build some housing. If we do that, we get two victory points. Okie doke, that's fine. I think we welcome you two. That's kind of it. That's all we can do. So okay, let's see how we may help each other. Let's move on to the morning. I like the um that wagon thing. That is very good indeed. Oh, and they're wearing a like a bowl on their head. Right, cheerio. Bye-bye, Elma. You can come by any time, Elma. You're, you're one of our buddies now. I like that look. A little kind of wagon made out of a barrel that just poodles away. Um, okay, so now we go to the task phase. So let's give our good new people something to do. Let's go and say hi. Hello, everyone. I cannot work in any of your workshops. Don't you have some bears around? No, we don't, Bianca. I like your big kind of turtleneck thing. That's good. Uh, we don't. What is your speciality? We bears are experts in producing insects. Let me show you. Okay. Ah, right. Okay. You have a thing down here. So, right. You're going to build, um, what was that? A worm terrarium. Produces a small number of insects. Yeah. Okay. So how about then? Uh, 15 wood. So half of our wood is going to go on this. But, um, I mean, yeah, let's build it down here, look. We'll pop it down here because it makes sense to keep it all together. Okay, so she's going to go and build a worm terrarium. Workshops are not the only difference. We also have specific bonuses tied to our species. We beavers are experts in wood production. And I see you've already built a woodcutter's cabin. And we squirrels can produce more vegetables than anyone. Yeah, we kind of worked that out. I see. So I must account for each of your characteristics to optimise what you can accomplish. Okay, so Evelyn... You could go and get some food, please, because we are looking a little bit low on that. So you go and do that. And then, Charlie, could you go and work in the woodcutter cabin to get a 17 wood? Because you're a beaver, you get plus five. You're satisfied. It's plus two. Yeah, so you go and do that, please. So everyone's kind of now doing their thing. The world of Diluvian Winds is home to many different animal species. Their respective knowledge gives them the ability to build different types of rooms. Oh, that is the different types of rooms they can build. Not that they can work in. So they can work anywhere. 
some places they're better at working than others, but they can build particular types of rooms linked to their species. Okay, each species has its specific features. They also specialize in the production of certain resources over others. Okay, that makes sense. Right, so now what? Has everyone kind of got a job? Yeah, I think everyone has. Yeah, they're all doing something. Okay, so we go to the afternoon, then a load of things kind of ping up into our resource bar, which is good. Right. And we now have a little kind of insect, whatever it was, hatchery or whatever it was. Um, okay, now everyone gathers round for food again. I'm really sorry, but it's going to be salad again. And the recipes you discover and their effects are documented in the recipe book. Okay, so at the moment, we've only got the green salad. And again, it's going to be another incredibly boring green salad. I do apologise. If we put 30 food in, Charlie becomes incredibly happy. Charlie goes to a proper happy state, but I think maybe we go for a frugal meal now just to keep a little bit of food in reserve because that could be quite handy, couldn't it? Right, so they're all eating. That's nice. So we skip to the next phase, which is then us going to the top. Right, so how is this? How is that looking? The fire is strong and very visible. So how about we put just another 10 into there? Just another 10 wood just to make sure it's still burning quite brightly, but we're not going to use all of our wood. Okay. Right, and then on to the next. Okay, day four. Another new day rolls around. I don't think we have any people coming in. I'm fairly certain we don't have people coming in, so that should be okay. Um, yeah, so they're, what, about, yeah, so what's that, four, is that 40%? 20, 40, 60, a massive pinch. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Yeah, so they're 40% of the way here. So the next lot of people are making their way over. Right, what do you want to do here? So Evelyn wants to work with a traveler. Bianca wants some insects, and Charlie wants to build some housing. I imagine the game is going to let us do that. I imagine the game is going to do a little bit of sort of tutorialing at us. Oh, hello? Are you okay? Um, okay, let's click that then. Um, what are we doing here? Hey, I'm building something. What would be the most useful for the community? Okay, so plus 25 wood and plus 15 veg, or plus 25 veg and plus 15 wood. I mean, maybe right now wood might be more useful so we can build more things. That might be quite handy. And then we can get vegetables from putting people to work in the little kind of greenhouse thing. So I would say wood possibly. Okay, is that it? Oh, there's our victory points up in the corner. We've got two out of 25. Ah, okay. Um, right, so go to the next phase, which I think is... Yeah, that's where we kind of hang around this little kind of... This sort of cabin type thing over here. Um, Bianca says, I like insects. I will breed them. And I'm looking for travelling buddies. I would love it if you sent me to work with another traveller. Okay, hang on. So Bianca wants to go and do the insect thing because then she can have insects for dinner. So you go and do that. Oh, crikey, we get loads of insects. So it generates 15 worms by, you know, sort of baseline. Uh, she gets plus five because she's a bear, plus two worms because she's satisfied with life. And we get an extra five because there is a violent wind, and you can certainly see that, because look, the trees are all bendy. Um, okay, well, let's put you into there, then. Okay, that's quite good. And then Charlie, um, I mean, you've got 25 veg. We will have some insects as well. So how about we get, oh, we've got loads of wood, though. We've got loads of wood. Maybe we could stock up on veg. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What happens if we put you into... Uh, hang on, what? No, no, I don't want, I want you to go and get vegetables, please. Oh, you're being tutorial. I think the game is saying you have to go into the woodcutter cabin. We've got, we've got to, we can't store it all. We can't store all the wood. Oh, okay. I think we're kind of being told to go and do this. Hang on a minute, hang on. Let's go over to, yeah, is it Charlie? So Charlie the beaver. Yeah, you're good at working with wood. So you go into there then. That's fine. And then Evelyn... Um, yeah, the game is making us put Evelyn into that. Okay, but it will complete one of Evelyn's goal thingamajigs. That's fine. Right, so go to the next phase. We'll see what happens. Right, so Evelyn fulfilled her request. That's very good. We've got way too much wood. We have 86 out of 50 wood. So we need to get building something, I suspect. Um, okay, we all gather around the cooking pot. But this time, we can do something different. Let's add insects to the menu. Mmm. Each dish has its own effects, so make sure to try out different ingredients and quantities to discover them all. Okay, so now we could go, okay, so 10 insects and 10 greens is a frugal meal, but we don't know what it is, look. 
It's like a mystery box. We could add that in again. A copious meal. That'll make two of them happy. And we still have a little bit of food left over. Let's do that. Let's do that, shall we? So, okay, confirm that. So what have we just made? Insect spring rolls. Insect spring rolls with a side of vegetables. So wood production up by five, oil production up by 10. That would be handy if we were generating oil, which we're not right now. And Bianca's had insects for dinner, which means we get another victory points. We're on four out of 25. That's not too bad at all. Right. Okay, so up to the top of the lighthouse we go. Uh, oh, crikey. Ah, this is where we're going to use our excess wood, is it? Some weather events will reduce the fire more than others. Careful with the wind. Yeah, so we've got 86 wood. So we could... We can only saw 50, I think. 76, 66, 56, 46. So if we put 40 wood back into the into the lighthouse to make sure that it's you know, burning brightly, that should be good. So confirm that. And there we go. So that should be that secure. So go to the next day. So day five, a new day begins. We should have just under our total amount of wood, I think. Oh, hang on. He has to go and look at the stuff first. Is anybody arriving? They're almost here. And we've only got Charlie left to complete their goal. And if Charlie completes their goal today, that means that they'll all leave tomorrow when the next kind of caravan thing arrives. Um, okay, so no new people today. So now we go down to issue you your jobs, which is fine. So you all trundle over to this thing. We're not there yet. I'm sure we're on it. Um, we should improve the lighthouse's housing capacity. I could build some housing with an appropriate amount of wood. Yes, you want to build a little kind of sort of residence type thing. So hang on. So what was it? Yeah, just housing. Okay, so build housing. It's 25 wood. Okay, so if we put that there, look. That fits in quite nicely. We've got a little kind of block there. Um, one day a visitor installed a very ingenious system on the side of my lighthouse. If there's nothing else you could do, you could always gather drifting debris. Who knows what you could find? Okay. What does that mean? Um, is it that thing? Oh, does that dip into the water and you pick out wood or whatever? Okay, that's quite handy then. Um, so, ah, right. I think it wants Bianca to go and do that. Or could we get the other one to go and do that? And we could get some more insects. So how about Evelyn, you go and do that thing. You go and work the contraption. It's like a crane. There's like a little kind of uh, sort of crane cab type thing. Oh, look. Yeah, just pop it in and see what happens. Okay. And then Bianca, you... Ah, look, we've got more options now. What's that one? It's a it's an actual cup of tea. Oh, that, right. Okay, game of the year. Look, it's it's got a proper cup of tea because it's got the sort of string and the little label that is attached to a fancy tea bag. And you can you know, hold it by the string and dunk it into the into the water. Oh, that's very fancy. Um, okay, I think you should go and get some more bugs. Because that's plus 25. That's loads of bugs. That could be a nice meal for everybody later on. So here we go. So food goes up in terms of bugs to 32. And we've built some housing as well. What does it do? What is the point of housing? I didn't see what it did. I possibly should have checked that. So we have got some housing, which is good. We just don't really know what it does. But okay. Um, so let's add a tiny bit of green. And what if we then added one lot of that? That's still a frugal meal. But still, it's going to make people happy. Look, Charlie and Bianca are going to leave very happy indeed. Uh, yeah, okay. And it's a new type as well. So what is that? Um, vegetable insect bento. I like a bento box. Uh, a box meal filled with vegetables and insects. So wood production up by 10. Oil production up by 10. Okay, that's really good. That's very good. And what's the weather like? Fire minus one. Fish production up by five. Okay. So we didn't catch any fish from the sea. In fact, what did we get from the sea? Did we get some wood from the sea? I assume that's what we got. Uh, we'll put 10 wood back in. Just to yeah, make sure the fire is still burning nice and bright. We don't want to get you know, to get too low, or else that might cause problems later on. A new day begins. Day six rolls around. You have a little look, and the people should be here. The people should have arrived. Okay, so all three are leaving, I think. So Evelyn is finally departing with Bianca and Charlie. Okay, that's fine. You two have to go. It's okay. It's all fine. You're going with Evelyn. It's good. Right, so here we go. So there is the new thing. There's our three people that are now leaving. Um, okay, so inbound travellers, four. 
Okay, so we've got four people. So we have, hang on a minute, there's another Evelyn, which is a little bit confusing. <laughs> we've got Callie the, uh, yeah, Callie the beaver. We've got uh, Edwin the squirrel, Elliot the squirrel, and Elmer the squirrel. Okay, Elmer's come back. Okay, <laughs> Elmer wants to build a woodcutter's... Is that Elmer that left? I don't, I don't know. I'm not entirely convinced it is. I know, because you're an apprentice. Your trait is different. Oh, hang on a minute. I see there is this thing that says remaining re-roll and we can replace people. So I think we take Callie because Callie is a beaver and that could help with that could help with getting uh, some more wood and we can use that to do more building stuff. So we'll take a we'll take a um, take a beaver and Evelyn up here wants to produce 30 vegetables. So we could easily do that, surely. That'd be nice and simple. So we'll take you. So that's two. And then we've got three other squirrels. I mean, could we re-roll this? Could we sort of keep going? Can we replace that person? Um, then we get Ben the Bear. Okay, so Ben the Bear wants to build a worm terrarium. We already have one of those. So does that count as a completed goal? Or is it not complete because he didn't build it? Um, they are good for insects, though. Okay, let's re-roll Elliot. Okay, we get Orlando. Um, I mean, yeah, we could try and get some fish. That's another food source that we haven't got yet. There must be a, we must be able to fish off the dock or something. So we'll take Orlando and then, I mean, we've got, yeah, vegetables. We've got wood. We've got fish. I mean, yeah, should we take a bear? Let's take Ben because then we can get some insects as well. Um, it might be worth re-rolling this. Okay, no, that's a bit of a shame. I thought maybe we'd get a bear with a goal that we could complete. But okay, we'll take Ben. Okay, so they arrive. Oh, there's some very good hats on display. You're wearing a bowl, like a fish bowl. You've got what looks like a bottle, at like the top of a bottle. Right and there, go our three former guests. Bye-bye, folks. It's been lovely to have you here, but enjoy a trip on the amazing little kind of barrel wagon thing. Um, ooh, you have a thing above your head. Okay, like a random event type thing. I found a jar of pickles that must date back to my great-grandmother. Judging by its colour, it could make for great fertiliser bait or a wonderful feast for the insects. Okay, so we can either get plus two veg, plus two fish, plus two insects. Okay, I think maybe let's go for... I mean, I don't know which one to go for. Let's go for vegetables. We can make some great fertiliser for the veg. There we go. Yuck, and to think this will become tomatoes. Okay, so that's everyone arriving. Um, what's the weather like? Light rain. That doesn't look good. Stormy. Risk of a tidal wave. Oh, good. Fire minus two. Insect production is way down because of the storm. Wood production goes up for some reason. And metal and oil. And it's heavy rain tomorrow. Okay, so bad for insects. But today, good for fish. So maybe we could try and do some fishing if we can do such a thing. Okay. Right, so everyone kind of heads over in this direction. Hello, new people. There's four of you as well. The weather forecast isn't good. No, we just had a look at that. Uh, there'll be a storm in the next three days, which may cause dangerous waves that will come crashing against the lighthouse. Waves can vary in size, but the rooms closest to the ground are always the most vulnerable. We must reinforce our rooms if we want to avoid losing them. It costs resources, but it's still better than going back to square one. Okay, so now we have to reinforce things is that a special action um we want to go and get some vegetables first um oh no the game is making us go and reinforce things we don't want to do that okay we have 22 insects so we could make a meal out of that so right ben ben the bear you go and do what the game wants us to do um okay so we said near the ground so yeah let's keep the worm terrarium thing safe so 15 wood that's going to take to upgrade that to give it plus one sort of shield point thing okay so you go and do that please good this room now has an extra health point it should survive the next catastrophe so do we need to do that to all the other rooms we're going to need a lot more wood i suspect um okay so then i think callie if you could go and work in there that would be really good so you go and do that please because we do need some more wood to do some more kind of um sort of fortifying or whatever um you you want to produce 30 veg so you go up there and actually start working on vegetables because that could be quite handy and then orlando you want to observe somebody working and you do get plus five production when it's raining um i mean you could 
you could go and help out over there. That would cap out our vegetable supply. Or you could help out in here. Ah, but hang on. You're an otter. You're no good at working with wood. Um, or we could... Oh, fish. Hang on. Hang on. If that's fishing... Hang on a second. Hang on. What? I thought that was... That thing over there is fishing. I thought it was like gathering wood, not fishing. Or does it mean fishing for wood? Possibly. Is that what that means? Can you build something? Um, oh, a fisherman's cabin. A fisher's cabin holding a few wooden fishing rods. That costs... How much wood is that? 15 wood. Okay. We could do that potentially. And then we can do some upgrades later on. But maybe we have to do that afterwards. Maybe our main job should be fortifying stuff. Um, you can go and do fishing like that. Okay, so let me go to the next thing. Yeah, so you have a little sort of fish of stuff. Yeah, you've got some wood. That's really handy, actually. So then we can put maybe a little bit in the in the uh, lighthouse fire thing. Hang on, let's skip that. Um, how are we doing for food, everybody? We've got vegetable insect bento. Ah, but... If we add a little bit more vegetables, what if we added a bit more of that as well? There's the vegetable insect bento. What if we added another 10? And does that make any difference? Doesn't look like it makes any difference. Um, that's okay. Hang on. So what if we drop that down and put that up? Yeah, so a frugal meal, everyone's still going to be okay with life, but they're not going to get bonuses to production. So maybe, yeah, if we do that, look, everyone's going to be a little bit happier, which gives them a tiny bonus. So let's have another vegetable insect bento. There we go. Lovely stuff. Right, so then we can go to the um, the lighthouse fire thingamajig. Let's see what we need to do with that. Um, it's very strong. No one can miss it. So I think we keep the wood. I mean, we'll lose one bit of wood because we can't store it. I don't know why we can't put it somewhere else. But yeah, we'll lose one bit. But I don't think we need to spend 10 on topping that up right now. It should be okay. We need it to sort of you know, reinforce things in readiness for the big old storm that's on the way. Right, day seven, new day begins. Here we go. You're going to have a little look at where people are. They must be a way off. The others have only just left. Um, okay, right. So yeah, remaining production, 30. Oh no, Callie wants to make 30 vegetables. Oh, I thought it was you know, generic person. You know, anybody make vegetables, but no, Callie wants to do that. Oh, botherations. Okay, that's fine. Uh, oh, a thing. Another kind of event thingamajig. What have we got going on here? Um, Hamlet Discord. I didn't know they had one. Um, ben and Orlando do not agree on a proper way to work. They're asking for a third opinion. Okay, so I think Ben is right. Ben gets wood production plus five. I agree with Orlando. Orlando gets vegetables production plus five. Um, okay. Neither of these are ideal, really. Uh, maybe Orlando does want to actually go and grow some veg. So I think maybe we get Orlando, side with Orlando, and then Orlando's job today can be growing some vegetables. Yeah, okay, so there we go. Right, so go to the phase where we have to dish out the jobs. Um, okay, so Orlando, you can go and work on vegetables, which will get us plus 22, which is good. So you can go and do that, please. And then Evelyn, you need to make another eight veg, so I think to complete your request and to get as a victory point, you go up and work in there as well. So that's you two sorted. And then can you two do some sort of uh, upgrade-y, barricade-y stuff? So you work on that one and then you fortify that one. Okay, is that okay? We don't need to fortify the thing at the top by the look of it. Maybe that's too high. Maybe the stuff at the top doesn't get damaged. But um, yeah, okay, we'll see what that does. So we've got, yeah, still got some wood. And there we go. Right, so Evelyn has completed her goal type thingamajig. And we have a lot of lovely food. And Orlando has worked with a traveller. So Orlando has completed their goal. Oh, wasn't it Orlando's goal to... Oh, I thought it was Orlando's goal to go and, um, go and I don't know, make loads of veg. But maybe it was somebody else. Um, it's going to be green salad, I'm afraid. It's going to be really disappointing. Um, how about, though, we try and keep food in reserve. So we'll just have a very sort of, yeah, a very light frugal salady meal today. Oh, birthday. There are many random events. Okay, birthday. It's Ben's birthday. It might help morale if we cook them a nice extra meal for the occasion. Okay, so we've just had a meal predominantly of vegetables. Let's make them another vegetable -y meal. Uh, minus 10 veg. Ben's morale goes up by one. 
Yeah, why not? It's Ben's birthday. We've got to, we can't just say no. <laughs> that make us a terrible host. Okay. So here we go, back up to the top. We have got a bit of wood in reserve, and I think we might need to use it, actually. So there we go, top the fire back up a little bit. That's very wonderful, but now we have no wood at all. So we do need to get some more wood from the woodcuttery place. A new day begins. Okay, it's it's really pelting it down with rain now. It's, it's a very miserable sort of a day. Um, right, Evelyn and Orlando are leaving. Oh, it was Callie that wants to make the vegetables. And Ben wants to build the worm terrarium. But we already have one of those, Ben. Um, okay. Callie has three days to make 30 veg. Okay. We'll see what we can do with that then. So no new people have arrived at the moment. So go over to the phase where we give them their jobs. Oh, hang on. It's focusing on us. A thing is happening. The storm rages. This is our last chance to reinforce our weakest rooms. I think, I think they're all done. Are they not? I think they're all reinforced. I don't think we can do too much else with them. Hang on. So if we go to that, they've got, unless that top one, we haven't got any wood though. We haven't got any wood. So it could, if the storm, I don't know, if a bolt of lightning hits that, then that could potentially get destroyed. The greenhouse type thing. But we can't do anything about it now anyway. So a bit tough, isn't it? If it gets destroyed, it gets destroyed. And we'll have to build a new one. Um, okay. So I think... Callie does want to produce lots of vegetables, but I think Callie is required to gather some wood because we have no wood at all. So could you go and do that, please? You can go and get some wood. Evelyn's request is complete. So that's quite good. Orlando's request is complete. And Ben will probably not complete his request ever. So never mind. Um, okay, so you can go and work in the worm place. Oh no, but look at that. We lose 10 because it's stormy. Is it worth just going to go and work in there to get some more wood? Um, how about, yeah, you go and work in there. And then Evelyn can go and gather some veg. You can go and do that. And then Orlando, you could go back out and do some fishing for bits and bobs in the sea. You could go and pick up some stuff. Yeah, okay. So that will help with wood as well. Right. Okay, here we go. So, um, yes, there's going to be a storm, potentially, which could be bad. Um, I don't know if they picked up anything at all, but we have got, okay, a, a vast amount of wood. Okay, that's good. That's fine. Is there something under the water? I think there's something under the water. Hang on, we'll get this food thing out of the way. Yay, food. I mean, yep, it's going to be mostly... Hang on, you can just have ten insects on their own. It's a poor meal, but people seem to be quite jolly about that. But if we make it frugal... They have the blue face. If we just keep that going up, does that make any difference? Oh, hang on. That's a new thing. That's a new food. But also, it does use up most of our food supplies. But you know what? Let's treat everybody, shall we? There we go. Ratatouille. A ratatouille with a side of insects. Mmm. <laughs> Delicious. Okay. So morale has gone up quite a bit. We now need to go to the next phase. I'm a little bit concerned that this storm is going to take everything out. Um, okay, and we're going to lose nine wood. So let's put ten wood onto the fire. Uh, in fact, I want to put twenty wood onto the fire. The fire is very strong. No one can miss it. That'll leave us with, what, thirty-nine wood. Which might be enough for us to build something exciting. Do you know what? We'll do that. We'll make sure the fire is uh, is burning bright. I think you have all the knowledge you need. Good luck. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, okay, we'll certainly give it a try. And here... I mean, you've left us at the point where a storm's going to you know, sort of crash over us. Okay, so we're looking at the storm. Ah, right. I suspect maybe we've noticed that something bad is on the way. Are we going to be hit with, like, a storm surge? Ooh! Oh, magic noise. Avengers assemble. Okay, um, right. So we're sounding the alarm, saying get inside. I assume we're going to tell everyone to get inside the um, the lighthouse. Oh, it's all a bit rumbly. <laughs> this isn't good. Everyone get inside, get inside, get inside. It's nice and strong. Okay, so what's going to happen? Are we getting hit by lightning? No, it's a big wave. It's a big wave then, is it? And Oh, crack. <laughs> it really is a big wave. Good grief. Right. Okay, so it's going to crash against the lighthouse. It's going to crash against some of our buildings. So it's knocked holes in the wall. So we might have to do some repairs. But I don't think anything has fallen apart. And the greenhouse at the top seems to have survived. 
Okay. So Ben failed a request. Yeah, we, he didn't want to build a worm terrarium because we already have one of those. So we failed Ben's task. So Ben's going to leave. That's fine. Um, okay. So some more people are arriving. So how do we deal with this? So Ben's going to go. So we've only got one person left behind. The other three are clearing off. Okay, that's fine. Right, so who do we get to join us now then? So I think, um, yeah. I think we get a beaver in to get some more wood because we might need to do some repairs. So that would make sense. Um, inbound travellers, two. Oh no, hang on. Yeah, we can only have three more. So yeah, I've picked one. So we've only got two more. So yeah, two, two um, beavers to handle wood production. That would be quite good. Um, and then maybe we get... You want to build a worm terrarium. That's no good. The bears will want to build worm terrariums. We already have one of those. Let's replace Bryn with Ollie. So Ollie is an... Oh, Ollie's an otter. Ooh. Otters are natural born fishers. Yes. Okay. So yeah, we'll get you in. Can you please go and do some fishing? Because fish is one thing we haven't had on the menu quite yet. You want to become happy... Oh, that's a lovely goal. Um, Edwin, we could get you in. You also want to become happy. So maybe we could get you in to go and get some vegetables underway. So we've got veg, fish, wood. Yeah, okay, that seems fine. Yes, confirm that, please. And cheerio. Are you wearing a blueprint on your head? You're wearing a blueprint as a hat. Okay, that's quite inventive, right? You are. Right. So they clear off, cheerio people, um, and we go to the next phase. Why isn't that in green? It's not in green anymore and I don't like it. Hang on, do we need to press it? Oh, it's not in green anymore. Now we're left on our own devices, it's not green. Yeah, there's something under the water. As soon as we've done this, we're going to look at what's under the water. If you lack time or want to experience a game at a faster pace, you can tick the auto skip box above the wheel. Once the tasks of the day are finished, the game will automatically move on to the next day. Okay, where's that then? Oh, there. I mean, yeah, why not? Let's tick that for now. Um, hang on, folks. There's Look, there's something under the water. There's like a little underwater kind of observation deck type thing. That is very good. I like that. Um, oh, crikey. Oh, there's a whole, there's a whole ocean down there. There's a whole underwater bit. There's you know, plants and coral and things and whatever that is, seagrass and stuff. Oh, it's huge down here. Okay. Okay. Now, yeah, of course, it does say that the animals are sort of land-based. So I wonder if at some point we could potentially get a water-based animal and then they could, you know, that's where they're going to excel. They're going to live down here. I mean, otter, I suppose, could in theory. Otters could live. They live on both, don't they? Um, okay. So how are we looking for resources? 39 out of 50. We need to get some fish. So who could, who wants to build a fishing dock thing? So um, Callie, you just want to make vegetables. We might struggle with that one. Um, but yeah, hang on. So Charlie, now where's the, yeah, you, Ollie the Otter. You want to feel better before you leave. But yeah, you can build a fisher's cabin. I think that sounds like a very good plan. So you build a fisher's cabin there for 15 wood. That'll keep you busy, but that's a good thing. Um, Edwin, yeah, we need some food. We definitely need some food. So Edwin, can you please go and sort the greenhouse out? You go and grow some food in there. And then we have Charlie and we have, yes, we've got the two. Hang on. Are you good at working? You're not good at working with veg, but you could go and work with some insects. That could be quite good. So if you go and get some insects plus 15, that's fine. And then you could go, you want to produce veg, but you're not going to do that. So you could go there and you could get some wood. Oh, look at that. That's going to get 27 wood. That's perfect. And there we go. The auto skip thing means we now, as soon as it's done, as soon as all their jobs are done, it just kind of goes, yep, yeah, there you go. On to the next phase. So skip that little kind of cutscene thing. Right, here we go. So now we can make ourselves either a vegetable insect bento or ratatouille. Okay. So they're both frugal, but I think maybe we go for the vegetable insect bento and we save 10 of our food because it makes no difference to their to their sort of morale. Yeah. Okay. So confirm that. That's fine. We then go on to the next thing. Oh, that's really helpful. That kind of skipping thing is really good. Right. And we have quite a bit of wood, so we could put 10 back into the fire. Okay. 
it's all looking very wonderful. Day 10, a new day begins. Okay, this is very good. I like this. Right, so here we go. You have a little look out to see where people are. I imagine they've only just going to start it. So yeah, they're not here yet. So we have to complete some goals. I mean, if we could get those two people happy within five turns, that means we're going to get four victory points from them. That's quite good. How many do we need? Is it 25? Yeah, 25. We might not possibly get there in this video because that looks like it might take a while. But still, we can try and yeah, aim to maybe get at least half. Um, okay. So you've got an event thing for us. Um, I found a jar of pickles. Oh, crikey. There are many jars of pickles belonging to great grandmother. They must have been the thing back in the great grandmother years. Okay, so vegetables, fish, insects. I mean, today we're going to try and get some fish. So why don't we get fish production plus two? So let's use it as bait for fish. So let's do that. And then Ollie, look, Ollie can then go fishing because we just built a fishing hut. So Ollie's going to bring back 22 fish. So 10 fish as a baseline, plus 5 because Ollie is an otter, plus 5 because it's pouring with rain, plus 2 from that vintage thing that we just found. Yes, you go and do that because that sounds amazing. However, we do have a storm on the way, so we need to go and reinforce things again, do we? We have got quite a bit of wood, so we should be okay. Um, however, we're going to have some fish, which could be quite nice. We do need to get some more veg. So I think... Edwin, you again nip up here and do some work in the greenhouse. And then Callie, we need some more wood. So I think what we do is Callie can go and get some more wood. You want to make vegetables. So you're not going to complete your goal thing. And that's fine. So you can go and get some wood. You can work in there. And then Charlie, you want to observe somebody working. But what we need you to do is we need you to reinforce something. We need you to reinforce things because very soon there's going to be a storm. And if we don't, everything will fall apart and that'll be bad. So, um, yeah, 15, 15 wood to reinforce that. Okay, you go and work on that, please. Right, everyone does their thing. That's all very good. Wood is going up very nicely indeed. And now I think, did we have fish? I think we did have some fish. Hang on. Um, yes. 22 fish. Okay, right, everybody, we're going to have a fish-based dinner. Oh, this is wonderful. Right. So now the thing is, do we just pour all of our resources into this? And look, people are becoming happy. So if we just try and put as much food in as possible. Um, yeah, what were your goals? Two people wanted to become happy, didn't they? And I can't quite recall what it, what, who they were. But okay, so I don't think adding that extra bit of food in helps. So let's have 20 veg, 20 fish. Yeah, if we had insects, I bet that would have topped that up. But okay, so what have we made? A fish and vegetable bento. Okay, so wood production goes up. Okie dokie, that's very good. We go on to the, um, the lighthouse phase. Um, oh, the fire is all right, but not very bright. Let's put another 10 into the fire for now, just to make sure that we don't lose any kind of uh, from having not enough storage. Right, so yeah, you didn't produce vegetables. That's absolutely fine. We sort of thought that might be the case. Um, so Callie is going to leave. And now we need to try and sort these out. So they've got four turns left to become happy. And Charlie wants to work with a traveller. Okay, we'll do our best. We'll see what we can do about that. So, um, right, let's have a little look. So we could do, though, Ollie, can you go and get some more fish? Because that was really good. 22 fish is really, really handy. So you go and do that, please. And then we still need to do some some sort of upgrade type stuff. Hang on, Edwin, what do you want to do? You want to feel happy. You want to feel happy. You want to work with somebody, Charlie. So hang on. So what if, what if we upgraded, what if we got you? I uh, know oh Ollie's doing something. So maybe we get Callie, who's already failed her request thing, get you to go and chop some wood. 35 wood. That's going to get us. Oh, because they get the bonus from the fish and vegetable bento thing. Oh my word. Okay. Right. I mean, the only thing is, is that going to be a waste of wood? No, because we can put it in the lighthouse afterwards. So you go into there and then Charlie, you can go and observe them. So you're going to bring in even more wood. And then Edwin, you can go up there. Or oh, do you go down here? Oh no, it's not good for insects because of the rain. So you go and grab some, uh, go and grab some more veg, please. 
And I think that will do. So there we go. Request is complete. We get a load of stuff. Um, okay. We possibly might have way too much wood to store. We've got 115 wood. <laughs> right. Okay. Oh, that's fine. That's okay. Um, and we'll have, we'll just do the same thing again. How do we do that actually? Uh, can we increase the amount of food we're putting in to get anybody happy? No, unfortunately. Let's do that then. Let's save 10 veg. We use the fish, but it's a new thing. So a fish fillet, a fish fillet with a side of veg. Sounds very nice to me. Okie doke, everyone has food. Right, and then we need to make sure that the fire's burning. And I think what we could do is we've got so much wood, we could just pour it all back in, use 50 of our wood to top it right back up. There we go. That was actually worth doing. The fire was looking a little bit kind of, a little bit sad. Okay, so you go and get, get your little sort of uh, spyglass thing out. Have a look at what's going on. New people are here. Okay, hello, new people. Farewell, current guests. It's been lovely having you here. So who can we get on board? So we've now got Ollie the Otter and Edwin the Squirrel. So we could, I mean, a bear would be helpful. A bear would be helpful. And they want vegetables for dinner within five turns. Yeah, we'll have Brienne. Um, and then who else do we want? So that means we've got fish, vegetables, insects, and then possibly somebody to, I don't know, get some, some wood underway. That'd be quite useful. Can we um, replace? Maybe. Can we replace somebody? So let's replace Clifford until we get ourselves a, um, a beaver that doesn't have that goal. Let's see if that happens. I mean, that's a mouse. We're not a mouse yet, have we? What do mice do? Textile production up by five. Okay, we haven't got textiles quite yet. Oh, hang on a minute. So our final re-roll has gone to, oh, a beaver. They're good at producing wood. But yeah, you want to make 30 insects. Oh, that's not going to happen, is it? Cade, um, I think you might be our best option, but okay. So we'll welcome those in. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye, friends. Again, some good hats going on. Some absolutely marvellous head toppers. I'm very impressed. Um, right. And I believe the storm is going to be at the end of today, by the look of it. I think that's... Well, hang on. Why have we not moved on? Why have we not shuffled on to the next thing? Or is it going to be the storm now? Is that what's going to happen? Are we going to get the storm underway? No? No. Okay. Oh, that's fine. That's good. I'm happy about that. Right. So here we go. What does the storm do? So, um, yeah, insect production is down. Wood is up. Metal is up. Oil is up. So we should be able to get some fish. So, Ollie, if you could go and do the fishing again, it's only 17 this time around, but that's, you know, going to get us over 20. That's fine. And then, could you please go and get us some insects? Although it's terrible for that. We get plus 10 insects. So that might help out with the people that want to be happy because we can then have a good mix of things. So we'll do that. Um, Edwin, hang on. Do we need to fortify anything? Oh, no, we do. Okay. You need to fortify that, I suspect. And then Cade, welcome aboard. You need to fortify that for 20 of our wood. Okay, so hopefully they can finish fortifying. So boom, boom, they're a bit stronger. And we go down for a bit of food. Here we go. Right, so now what if you just put 10 of, oh, hang on, 10 of each in. So 10 and 10 and 10. It's a mystery dish. Nobody knows what it is. What if you put some more fish in and then put some more of that in? It's getting very tricky to try and make these people happy. They're going to the, the blue face, but not the really happy blue face. Um, I think we go for this. Let's go for whatever that is. It's a copious meal. Fish and vegetable curry. That sounds okay. So veg production up, fish production up. That's quite handy. Somebody had veg for dinner. That means they're jolly. But I believe, yes, the storm is going to hit now, is it? Um, let's... Do you know what? We'll keep that wood for repairs. So here we go. You're going to go, huh? And have that kind of alarmed thing above your head, are you? And then you're going to... Oh, I thought you were going to sound the alarm there, but no, you just cleared off. Uh, day 13, a new day begins. Was there not a storm? Oh, okay. So we've reinforced those things, but for no real reason at all. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's good, I suppose. They're at least reinforced now. But... Right, I am surprised. The wonders of technology. The world's travellers have been surviving climate change for a while now. They've learned a lot of new things and can create new buildings. 
It seems we've found the means to consume resources to create others in a sustainable way. New travellers will be able to capitalise on this new knowledge. Amazing. I cannot wait to see it. A new species tier has been unlocked. Okay. I don't know what that means, but okay, that sounds very exciting. Okay. So task time. And it looks like we didn't, the storm kind of didn't hit. The storm didn't do anything. That's good. That's a good thing. Right. Okay. Let's concentrate. Hang on. Hang on. Ollie wants to be happy. So I think that's going to require food, isn't it? And Edwin would like to be happy. So we need to get some really good food going on. So you, can you go and get some insects? So we'll have 27 insects. I think that seems pretty good. So do that. And then you, um, hang on a second. You can do veg because that's what you're good at. So you go and do that 27 veg out of that. You can go and do some fishing, 22 veg out of that. That's wonderful. And then Cade, Cade is a beaver, and you've got 20 wood. We could upgrade that. We could fortify that just you know, in readiness for the future. Or we could get you working over there to bring 15 wood in. I think for now, that's what we do. So let's do that. So everyone's got their jobs. We generate an awful lot of stuff. That's very good. That's got to be a good meal. Surely everyone's got to be happy with that. Come on, folks. You're eating absolutely loads of stuff. So two lots of that. Two lots of that. And people still aren't happy about things. Um, what if we added some more veg? Um, oh, we can't. Why can't we add more veg? I don't know. Oh, hang on. It's full. That's why. The thing is full. Oh, okay. Right, I see. So we might as well just reduce it down and have something... Hang on, that just mixes fish and insects. Let's have that. Let's let's have something completely different. We'll save the veg. Yeah, okay, what do we make? A fish and insect bento. Okie dokie. That makes sense. And then we go back up to the top of the lighthouse and we'll put 10 wood into that. Just to, you know, make sure it's burning okay. Right, so day 14, another new day begins... So what's going to happen now? People aren't here yet, I don't think, are they? No, not quite. Um, but yeah, I've got one day left to make those two happy. They're all right right now. They're jolly, but not overly happy. So we have to try and make that work. I'm not really sure how we can do that. Because I think we need lots of food. Or, potentially, we need to build something. Is there a thing that we can build? There was a... What's that thing? Yeah, a garden. Slightly improves a traveller's morale. I mean, we could try and build a garden, possibly. We can't build a garden, everybody, because we need 30 wood and we haven't got that. That's a bit of a shame. Botherations. Um, okay. So how about Ollie? Um, you are... Oh, no, 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 not you. The other one. Where are you? Cade, you're a beaver. You go and get some wood from the woodcutter cabin. That's going to be helpful. You... Oh, no. What do we do with you? Do we get you to just... Do we get you to just, I don't know, get some more wood out the sea or something? Or do we get you to get some more insects? Plus 20 insects. Let's keep everyone doing what they're good at, shall we? So then we can... But we've got plenty of veg right now. Maybe Edwin could do something else. Edwin, what can you build? A pantry, a woodcutter cabin, or a greenhouse? Got two of those. Pantry is a storage room. Ah, so we can store more stuff. Oh... I'd rather keep the money and build a garden. I think that will keep the resources and build a garden. That'd be better, wouldn't it? So how about you? Um, uh, what could you do? You're not very good at fishing. Um, oh, hang on. You could, in theory, upgrade that for 15 wood. And that means that that is then ready against any future storms. And then, Ollie, you can go. You can't go fishing because the fishing thing is being upgraded. Botherations. Okay. Um... How about you go and get... Can we go back in there? It just did a thing. No, we can't bother. Um, okay, we need some more wood, possibly. So let's go to there. And you can go and just grab some wood out of the sea. Oh, you got fish. You got fish out of the sea that time. Oh, okay. Oh, that's quite good. I'm happy with that. Right, so we go back to the food phase again. Um, that, that, and that. I mean, that's different again. That's a different food thing. We can't do too much. We can't make people happy, look. We can't make the people happy, which is a bit of a shame. Um, I mean, yeah, do we just notch that down a bit? 
It's still a copious meal and it will save a bit of our food and it's something new. So what have we got? Vegetable and insect curry. Okay, delicious. But yeah, we're not going to complete two of their goals, which is a bit of a shame. We couldn't make them overjoyed. Uh, we'll put 10 wood onto the thing. The fire is very strong. No one can miss it. And um, yeah, day 15, a new day begins. Yeah, you didn't get happy. You didn't get happy. Sorry. I do apologize. We did try. We did try. You have very exacting standards. Right, so new people are going to arrive. Let's see who's going to join us. We'll pop down and look at the kind of exciting wagon thing. So I've only got Cade. Cade is the only person left and they've got the yellow face. They're not overly impressed with life and neither is everybody else. People are unsatisfied. In fact, everybody is unsatisfied. Elmer! Elmer's come back. Elmer can build things. Flower gardens consume vegetables to produce insects. A kitchen produces vegetables. It makes 30 soup. Oh, okay. So there are now different buildings, slightly fancier buildings, that do better than the existing buildings. Right, I see. I mean, let's get... Let's get... Um, I mean, yeah, hang on, hang on. I want to get an otter. There you go. So Otis the otter. Vegetables for dinner, that's achievable. Elmer could produce some vegetables. That's fine. That's going to help out quite a bit. Um, and then fish for dinner. We could get Clifford. So we'll get those three in, I think. Um, although we haven't got a bear. We won't have a bear. Hang on. Can we replace... No, not Evelyn. Want a bear, please. Last chance to roll a bear. And it worked. Bryn. Bryn the bear. Bryn the bear wants a bit of flower garden to complete their goal. Um, a locust farm. Okay, yes, we're now getting better buildings. Better things we can construct. Okay, so there we go. So our old crew, cheerio. Bye to them. New people come in. You've got a little hook in your hat. I like that. And you're wearing like a... Is that colander type thing on their head? I'm not entirely sure. But there we go. The wagon poodles away. What's that weather? Blue sky. Vegetable production up by five. At the moment, it's foggy. So, ah, that's why everyone's a bit grumpy because it's all foggy and dank and not very nice. Um, okay, do you know what, though? I think we will finish things up for now with Diluvian Winds. I think we've had a very good look at the game to see how it works and what it's all about and all that kind of stuff. And I really like this. It's very nice. It's kind of like a sort of a very lovely, very adorable, very pretty to look at resource management game, isn't it? But it's kind of a bit laid back. It's not frantic. I mean, okay, there's a point where you get a storm, but it's not like you have to rush around all the time. You're not fighting baddies, not being you know, bombarded with things. Occasionally, there's a bit of bad weather, and that's kind of it. And then the rest of it is just kind of gathering resources and managing how you spend them. But the things that gather resources change. And they're also putting their arms in the air like they just don't care. But yeah, these things sort of change around. So it's not like in some other kind of resource gatherer things. You go, okay, right, I've built a woodcutter. They're going to gather wood. I'm going to get two wood every single turn because I have a woodcutter. Because, of course, we have different characters coming and going. Some characters are better at some things than other things. And it can switch around. So at one point, maybe you won't have anybody that can gather wood. Or maybe you won't have anybody that could go fishing. So you kind of have to make do and switch things around a bit and change your plans and kind of muddle through. And I like that. I think that's very good indeed. I think that's a very interesting concept on things. And of course, we are playing as a uh, as a walrus who is wearing a... Look at that, that coat, actually. I didn't notice it's got like a kind of anchor emblem things on it. That's very fancy pants. I do like that. So, you know, it looks good and it plays really well. And given that this is a demo version, or a prologue version, so given it's a prologue, which means demo version... It's really good. It's really slick. It works. It looks amazing. It's been pretty flawless. No bugs or glitches or anything like that. It's worked really well. So I think this is very good. I do like this. I've had a thoroughly splendid time. Also, the little events popping up as well. That's quite good. I like the little random events popping up just to, you know, make it a little bit more sort of involved. Like your people are actually interacting with each other and they've got lives going on as well. So yeah, I've really enjoyed this. It's been thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly entertaining. I've had a splendid time with it. But um, yeah, I think we have had a good look at it and we get the idea with how it works. We might well come back to this when it goes into full release, when it's got all the features in, because of course it's the demo slash prologue right now. So it's not got all the things in it that it's supposed to have when it actually goes into a full proper launch version. So maybe we will come back to this when it is the full launch version and just see if we can complete one game. Let's just see if we can get up to 25 victory points and then what happens? I mean, do we just leave? 
Do a big load of people settle around the lighthouse? Do we go somewhere else? I'm not entirely sure what happens when we get to the 25 victory points. So I think that might be something that we could look at when the game goes into full release. But there we go. For now, we shall finish up. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you have, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. There we go, the king and kettle. It's this, it's Rob the God. Rob the God, he's a hero, he is Rob the God. He's got a feather in his cap, he's got a beard. This could be the planty room. <laughs> we could have so many plants. Hang on. <laughs> I feel like there's a book here to be written. We've got the executioner and the nun.